I'm Kaylee, and today I'm talking about C.S. Lewis's Out of the Silent Planet. The first thing I want to do before I jump into talking about C.S. Lewis's Space Trilogy is to reach back here and we'll do a booktuber shout out from our booktuber shout out book. So today we are shouting out the Book Dragon. Their channel we linked up above and down below. So be sure to go to their channel and subscribe to them. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe to this channel if you wanna see more bookish content about C.S. Lewis. C.S. Lewis is one of my forever favorite authors I fell in love with his books when I read The Chronicles of Narnia when I was a kid, and I was so delighted to discover his space trilogy when I grew up. <laughs> I think I've read the space trilogy only once before, and that was like 20 years ago, 25 years ago or something. So wow, I was seriously due for a reread. So of course, when I saw that Victoria at a Musical Bookworm was doing a read-along of the Space Trilogy, I had to join in. We read the first book, Out of the Silent Planet, in the first part of April, and then we're gonna do Paralandra in the second part of April, and we're going to read That Hideous Strength in May. So it's not too late if you wanted to join in, you still have plenty of time. Out of the Silent Planet is one of the shortest books, so you would be able to catch up pretty quickly if you wanted to join in with this read along. I enjoyed this book so much more reading it the second time. I think that the first time I expected it to be Narnia just for adults, you know, but it's just, it's its own separate story. It, it, I was came into it that first time expecting it to just be Narnia all over again. And when it wasn't, I guess I was kind of disappointed. But this time I came into it knowing what it is. And so I was able to just sit back and enjoy it without any like weird expectations. This is the story of Ransom, who is kidnapped and taken to another planet. And he escapes from his kidnappers and he has to fend for himself in this alien world. Everything he encounters is completely foreign and strange. From the water, to the trees, to the aliens that he meets, the landscape is completely wild and it's inhospitable. And there are aliens who he has been told need a human sacrifice for their pagan gods. I just love how incredible the world building is in this book. The imagination of C.S. Lewis knows no bounds. There are so many little details, uh, not just about the alien world that he visits, but even about space travel that are so intricate and interesting and really imaginative. As Ransom is traveling through space, he is invigorated by the naked sunlight that is not being filtered through any atmosphere. And he reacts to this sunlight in not just a physical way by feeling, you know, more energetic, but also in a spiritual way. It's like it bathes his mind and his heart in sunlight. The gravity that's generated by their little spaceship doesn't actually fit with the actual laws of physics. <laughs> I mean, this was written in the 1930s, decades before anyone had any idea of the realities of space travel. This is way before anyone had landed on the moon or, or gone outside of the atmosphere. And just not a lot was really known about the physics of space. So of course there are some things about the space travel that don't quite add up, but it's fiction. It's supposed to be imaginative. The whole fantasy of it is just so brilliant and attractive that it doesn't really matter that it doesn't match reality. It's not supposed to match reality. Malacandra, the planet that Ransom visits, is just so vibrant. It has rich cultures and societies and languages of its own. I really love all the little details of the aliens and the society. Um, and it just makes it feel like a real place. It's utterly bizarre and wild, but it also has these little flecks of familiarity that really endear you to the alienness of it all. The writing and the storytelling are truly brilliant. The plot is really exciting. The writing style draws the reader into the scene so that you are experiencing what the characters are experiencing and you really follow them through every adventure. I love that there are a lot of philosophical questions and, and spiritual lessons that are inserted into this book, but it's never done 
in such a way that slows down the plot. It doesn't spoil the adventure or weigh down the action too much. Ransom is just such a fantastic hero. He is good, but he's also flawed. And the way that he reacts to all the unusual things that he encounters in his adventures, he just reacts in these basic human ways. Still, it's like, that is so human. <laughs> It's sometimes wonderful and sometimes it's unattractive in a character. But he is such a deep character. I love the way that he ponders these deep ideas, questions about life and the nature of the universe. As he journeys across the planet and he learns more and more about the aliens who live there, he is also going on an internal journey with really extreme character development that is so fascinating to watch. I have enjoyed this book so much. I gave it five stars. I'm so excited to keep reading the trilogy and, and just see how it's so different from my first time experiencing it. If you have tried reading C.S. Lewis's Space Trilogy and it didn't quite click with you and you didn't quite gel with it the first time, I encourage you, please read it a second time because my experience reading it this second time has just been so different. I think just because my expectations are different. I did a blog post with a much more in-depth review and a lot of spoilery notes. Like as I was reading, I would take notes on every chapter. So those are full of spoilers. So if you want my spoiler notes, my, my in-depth thoughts, you can always go to my blog post, uh, which I will link down below for you to enjoy if you want to hear all my spoilery thoughts. Please leave me a comment down below and let me know what is your favorite book by C.S. Lewis? Is the Space Trilogy one of your favorites? And of course, you have to let me know if you are joining in with this read along. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and remember the right book in the right hands at the right time can change the world.